Do you like sweets? By Saratin04. There was a crooked man who wore a crooked smile, with mouth of crooked teeth, which he could never file. He conjures crooked magic for those with brains and owls, but only if you meet him inside his crooked house. That's part of the urban legend you've heard. You've been researching about encounters with the crooked man for months, but now you can find out if he really exists. Some reports say he's a wizard, others say he's something entirely different. You're waiting at an empty old-fashioned sweet shop in the city of York. That's where the legend says he appears. He must come alone at midnight. Furthermore, there's no need to knock. If he's feeling generous and takes an interest in you, he'll ask a specific question. Suddenly, you hear a voice utter, Do you like sweets? Yes. Well then, you better come in. You enter through the door, but this isn't a sweet shop. You've entered a workshop, study, living room? It's hard to say what it is. Forgive the mess, it's a wizard's prerogative. Now that you've seen him, you know why people are unsure if he's a wizard. Mm -hmm. Tch, don't you know it's rude to stare? I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm just happy to be here. Of course you are. Meeting me is a rare privilege. So, what kind of sweets are you in the market for? You weren't really in the market for anything, but he quickly adds, If you could have any kinds of sweets, what would they be? The... The kind that will make me happy. Excellent. <laughs> I do like people who take charge of their own happiness. So, my next question is both the hardest and easiest to answer. What would make you happy? Genuinely, not temporarily. Uh, magic. <laughs> Correct! You'd be surprised how many people ask for stupid things like money, popularity, love, or, I don't know, beauty. Your wish is the only one I'm willing to fulfill. You can tell he's being sincere, and you're glad you didn't see any of the other things that went through your mind. It's understandable that you want to learn how to use magic. A life without it is hardly worth living. I pity humans more than any other creature. This conversation has taken an unexpected turn. You're confused about how he came to this conclusion. You wanted to give he wanted him to give you a magic potion or artifact, not teach you magic. Magic confectionery is my specialism. Many dispute its potency, but you'd be surprised what you can achieve with sugar, magic, and mess. I can teach you things that no other magic wielder would even dream of. Malice, you feel conflicted. He notes the change in your facial expression and adds, You're the first in a long time that I've deemed worthy of my tutelage. You do want to be my apprentice, do you? Yes. Well then, my apprentice, let us begin your first lesson. Good end. Do you like sweets? By Sarah Ten Zero Four. Hello friends, thanks for watching that video, and if you like my voice acting, you can support me by subscribing. Alright, that's it.
バイ先輩。